Hi guys, um, I'm going to show you how to find your IP address on Windows 7. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to go down to the task bar down the bottom and if you're connected to a network you'll see this network connection icon here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is click on it once and then press on open network and sharing center. So the network and sharing center opens up now it's a little bit different to Windows Vista and also Windows XP didn't even have a network and sharing center so it's completely different to that one okay um, right so what we're going to do to find out our IP address is press on this now if yours doesn't say local area connection it will say wireless connection now the reason it says local area connection for me is that my computer is actually plugged in through a cable okay so if you're using the internet wirelessly or connected to your um, network wirelessly it will say wireless connection so we're going to click on it and it brings up some details here okay so and then we're going to press on this details okay so it's telling me that my IP address is 192.168.0.7 Okay, and it gives you all the details of everything there. The gateway, which is my router, is 192.168.0.1. Alright, you can find out all sorts of details here. Right, so we can close that. Now I'm going to show you another way to find your IP address. And this time you could probably do it on Windows Vista and Windows XP. So basically any computer, any Windows computer. Okay, now if we go to the start menu, in Windows XP it has a link to the run, okay, which um, in Windows 7 it hasn't got it there straight away. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go and we're going to press the Windows key on the keyboard and R at the same time. So it brings up the run box. Okay, so I press the Windows key and the letter R. Now I'm going to type in CMD and press OK. OK, so once we've done that, the command prompt comes up. Now we're ready to type in here. We're going to type ipconfig, OK, and then press Enter. It's very simple. It's just IPCONFIG and press Enter. Okay, and here's the details again that I showed you earlier. Okay, but the difference is that you can go to a Windows Vista computer and do the same thing, and you can go to the Windows XP computer and do the same thing. Okay, this is the difference. All right, um, I hope that helped, and thanks for watching. And make sure you subscribe if you really like these videos. Okay, see ya.